Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Big general love reading for my friends Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know. Like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, let's find out what messages want to come through for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the love arena. Let's see what we can get in our quick love reading. That was indeed a quick shuffle and you get four cards guys the luckiest of the uh, round milk and honey the fates fork in the road and exchanging gifts so i want to say that the fork in the road can be the decision of course because it is the crossroads energy that can unlock for you quite an outcome that will um involve I will show you the cards. So, fork in the road, milk and honey, the fates, and the chance to exchange gifts with a special someone, I feel, that can be a source of uh, light-hearted energies, um, quite a fulfillment. There is the 17, uh, number 17 card, which is the star. So, um, Fated opportunity for some of you, the chance to fulfill a wish, exchanging gifts for me is not just the, the chance to share um, material things, but also time, which is, um, I feel, uh, maybe the most precious gift that we can share with a special someone, we can create memories, you know, we can share moments. And what a beautiful opportunity that is. Let's see what the tower has to say about it, guys. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Quite an opening with these four energies on the table. Let's see what we can get. The Moon. Knight of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. A wish can be granted, Nine of Cups, and the Lovers, bottom of the deck. Um, so allow me to say, the fork in the road is vibing uh, with the moon, something that is yet to be discovered. You know, the unknown, there is an energy about the unknown uh, within the moon, something that must be unveiled. This can be about an offer that can be presented by a Knight of Pentacles individual, very, very trustworthy, honest, reliable, you know, someone who you can count on. At the same time, it's a uh, quite quite slow energy the knight of pentacles the slowest uh, of the four knights but again this is an energy that uh, can uh, come and pass through the finish line it's only a matter of time um, the knight is able to evaluate everything basically because he he does not want to rush into things without the proper evaluation, you know, which is uh, an understandable approach, if I may say. Even more, if we consider the fact that this knight individual may find um, himself, but it can be a, a lady uh, at the same time. It doesn't matter. We are talking. We are talking about energies. This knight can be, can find himself dealing with a king of pentacles individual which can vibe in the same way so uh, there is some kind of um, matching energies uh, at play this king of pentacles may find very interesting the reliable energy coming from the knight of pentacles but this king also is someone that is very well set off able to provide for himself and for all those around him if 
it is necessary to do so. At the same time, the king may not be entirely aware of the night because we have the moon, but a wish can be granted in the pursuit of a partnership. You know what? I will put the nine of cups and the lovers because they make the point eight of cups under them, but it's not linked with the feeling that I'm getting. We are talking, we are talking about a connection that can be manifested um, as soon as some steps are uh, taken, basically, according to a sequence of events. Now, let's go and clarify this combination to gain more knowledge about it. I'm curious about the moon that can unveil in some way the Knight of Pentacles interest towards the King of Pentacles individual. That is, the lovers are not just about a soulmate energy, but also um, a choice, a heart overhead decision. The Nine of Cups is a wish granted, kind of vibing like the Fates energy. A revelation coming out of the blue. Ace of Wands, a new beginning. Death energy, a complete and revolutionary change. You get two revolutionary change involved with the death and the tower effort. This can be a, a connection that uh, finds uh, roots in the workplace or in a professional environment of uh, some kind. So allow me to say the Knight of Pentacles individual will follow the lover's energy making a heart overhead decision you know, in order to pursue a soulmate connection full of love and passion that can be a wish granted for the knight, for sure, but also for the king of pentacles because they, the two, can vibe in the same way. They can match frequencies. Then, if it is something, so a connection that is kept, allow me to say, secret with the moon energy, complete uh, turn of the events, the tower, divine bolt, because there is a revelation following the fork in the road, you know, energy, the crossroads. The revelation is about a powerful and bright new beginning with the Ace of Wands, full of passion, beautiful to see, because there is a, an ignition, you know, that can take strength because the connection is solid between two individuals that may have a very high level of consideration about one another. Divine intervention with the tower. We are not talking about something that is crumbling down. We are talking about a revolutionary change. Again, a situation that was in a way, then something happens and the situation completely changes. You know, these takes even more meaning with the death energy. I personally love the death card because it's an opportunity. Usually I say to sweep away all the leftovers from the past in order to um, have an open field on an energy level and be able to manifest new things. In this case, the sweep away energy, let's say, can be the surprise factor involved in the uh, stepping forward coming from the night the king of pentacles will be surprised by the sudden change of the situation but the king will embrace the revolutionary change that um, is within the death energy you know because again the wish granted can be a true for the both of these two um, knight and king of pentacles the lovers, the connection can be truthful, you know, sincere and with deep feelings involved. The decision is called by one of them, the other, I feel the king, will be open to embrace it. Exchanging gifts speaks volume about the opportunity to share a lot of things together. Milk and honey is a light-hearted energy. There is the rainbow, so again a wish fulfillment, the chance to enjoy positive and joyful moments. This is a great opportunity that can
can uh, come out of the blue because maybe the interaction if it is on the professional uh, environment or inside a professional environment allow me to say the interaction was um, perfectly respectful before but feelings were growing and so from the unknown energy of the moon a revelation aha moment light bulb moment in some sense with the tower profound and deep revolution involving these two individuals a bright new beginning with the ace of wands full of passion soulmate connection potentially a wish can be granted beautiful reading for you guys libra i'm very happy about it i will leave it at that i truly hope it was helpful i'll continue on vimeo see you there if you want to join me the link is below let us know if you resonate leave a comment like share and subscribe to the channel until next time guys i wish you the best take very good care of you and i will talk to you soon Bye.